Okay, hello, welcome. This is for the sign of Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. We're looking to mid June of 2024. Okay, everything that you need to know about me, it is right down below in our description box. Okay, I'm using this deck right here. It's called the Love Oracle to get us some messages. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can find everything about that down below. Wow, a love offer. Engagement right here, Virgo. Maybe there's a proposal coming for you. Virgo, please, mid-June 2024. And we have roll the dice right here. And we have a legal matter. Okay, I feel like something here is definitely karma when it comes down to you in some way here. Okay, let's see here. What is this proposal right here for Virgos? What's your message right here? Okay, if somebody may ask you to marry them, could be. For some Virgos. Maybe you're going to ask them to marry you. Okay, let's see here. This proposal right here, please. This is for a Virgo. Six of Cups and Foot Door here reverse. Okay, so I feel like the, the proposal right here is that somebody wants you not to look back to the past. Whatever happened in, you, in your past in some way, right? Um... I, I just kind of feel like somebody could be telling you right here, I'm not like anybody from your past. See how this one is sitting there? Like, they, maybe they're telling you they're not like somebody from your past, or, you know, maybe they want to tell you that. Some people here, Virgos, okay? What's your message right here, please? Yeah, a long-term investment right here and a will of fortune, okay? So, some of you, something here is definitely changing in a love situation, I feel. I feel like something here is not like the past, not like some other lovers from your past maybe this is somebody new right here it's going to be offering some for real love um i feel here okay what's the message right here please proposal yeah yeah see nine of pentacles reverse i feel like somebody wants to take you off the market somebody wants to have a for real relationship right here with you like yeah, like, listen, will you be the one? Will you marry me? So I feel like somebody may ask you that. I feel like you may really come into a serious commitment right now. This could definitely be unexpected right here with the tower card. I feel like this unexpected right here. Okay, or this if this is some this is a marriage. Yeah, it's a marriage for, for some of you right here. If, if this is right here is um unexpected, I kind of feel like somebody's like, listen, I want to marry you, but I don't want to do something like the past, like you know, can we forgive the past? Can you leave something in the past? If this is somebody here that you dealt with before, they'll wonder right here, can you leave this in the past? Whatever happened before in the past, can you leave it in the past? Let's do something new now, you know, here in this commitment. I feel like somebody's contemplating asking you either to marry them or asking you right here, will you leave something in the past that happened either to you by somebody else or by this person, right? So it's like, will you leave this in the past or whatever happened to you in the past or whatever they did to you in the past, right? So I'm getting right here. So I feel like that's the question for some of you right here. Can you leave something here in the past? Okay. Justice is served right here. Okay. Yeah, justice is definitely served right here. For some of you right here, there's going to be a new love to come in right here. I feel like something that was happening in your love life is changing for some of you right here. Yeah. Um, some of you right here, I feel like um, maybe you learned some serious lessons about the past in some type of way in love. And now maybe there could be a love. I mean, have you ever, have you sat down and thought about it lately, uh, Virgos? what it would really feel like falling in love with somebody that really is true and that really loves you for real, right? Um, some of you, I think you're going to start looking to that. Yeah, yeah. You're going to start, maybe you'll open up to love. It could be for some, okay? Um, right here with the Wheel of Fortune right here, okay? The Wheel of Fortune, because I feel like something is not like how it was before in the past, or maybe you're not going to accept Certain things you accepted before in the past, you know that. So something here is going to change in love in some way. Yeah, I feel like you here to a swords. You're not going to accept certain things you used to accept in love in some way. Something has really changed. Like justice is served for you now, I feel, in love in some way. Okay? Or, you know, yeah. This even could be an ex for some people here. Some people, this is an ex. 
they want you back, but I feel like maybe it's a cause and effect. They wasn't open up to you before. So maybe you're not open up to them. This could be different for all the Virgos here. Let me see what else I can get here. Yeah, because somebody could have been lost in before or something like that right here, right? Yeah. I, I, I just kind of feel like, too, with the Six of Cups right here reverse. It's like, for some of you, there's no second chance of you. Or maybe you gave them up to six chances, right? It's, this is a six. You could have gave up to six chances, and now you're just done with that situation. Okay, maybe you're done with somebody right here, okay? Um, you're not looking back to them anymore. They wasn't stalemate to you, or they wasn't open up to you, or maybe they was lusting. And so you're not looking back to them. That's justice, that's karma for you or for them, or something like that right here. Maybe you kept on forgiving somebody over and over and over again. And I just feel like you, you're done with that now. Justice is served for you. You're done with that for some people here. Like, that's completed for you. Um, so, you know, I feel like for some of you, there's a new love that you're looking at. Or you're looking at love in a whole different way in general. Okay. Some of you, there's somebody here that want to marry you. They wonder, they wonder, okay, Virgos, can you leave something that happened in the past in the past? They wonder that. Yeah, somebody, somebody's wondering that right now. This is way too many cards. Okay, I'll put these back right here. Any other messages right here? This proposal card right here for Virgo. They wonder right here, will you forgive them? In the past, there was a stalemate for some people here. What is a stalemate? A stalemate is somebody here that's avoiding a relationship or something like that. You know, I feel like somebody may offer you a ring for some people right here. Like, here, will you marry me? Um, because they really don't want to lose you, I feel. Somebody doesn't want to lose you, I feel. I feel like in the past, maybe they wasn't they wasn't preparing for something before in the past. So maybe this is somebody from your past. They Somebody else, you know, they was lusting or something before in your past. But this, is, this could be a new person. And if this is a new person right here. Will you let go of your past, whatever happened, and love for you before and give them a chance? That's what somebody's wondering. Okay. Somebody's wondering that right now. I'm getting this a Libra right here, right? Another Virgo or Aries. I mean, not Aries. Um, Taurus. Could be an Aries. I don't know why I said Aries. But that's a Taurus right there. Okay. So, a Two of Pentacles right here. Somebody's juggling. Yeah, they was trying to hold on to a third party or they want to hold on to you, something like that, right? Yeah, I'm getting, um, somebody wants to hold on to you. What's your message right here, please? This is Virgo. Oh, yeah, King of Pentacles is reversed right here in a Nine of Wands. I'm hearing somebody say, if I get a chance with Virgo again, I'm going to marry them. Because some of you, you're not married to them. King of Pentacles reverse. Okay, I feel like they want to marry you. Because they want to hold on to you. You're the one that somebody wants, I feel. Okay. I just feel like, you, got, you, you know, I just feel like, yeah, somebody feel like you're the lottery ticket. Like, you're the one they really want. They want a new firm foundation right here with you. It could be affecting them for some people right here. It could really be affecting them for some of you. I told you it is. It is right here. Not a swords. They could be having anxiety about losing you. Somebody doesn't want to lose you. I feel like right here affects them. Right here. Yeah, being without you. Okay, but some of you, there is a third party here, though. I feel for some, or there was before in the past. It just wonder when you let go of the past. Maybe some plans right here was about money in some type of way. It could have been. Maybe it was you not having any money or they didn't have any money. Okay. I just feel like you're really, really confident and you're really, really self-assured right here about what you want. Okay. You either could be self-assured that's a third party here because it's these right here. Kings and queens, they're people in this king right here. So it could be, it could be people here, right? I feel like you're, you're self-assured as a third party or you're self-assured right here what you want in some way. You know, let's say you don't want a third party. You really don't want that. Like, for real, you really don't want that, you know. So I feel like somebody here, you know, they want you not to look back to the past. Okay. 
They want you to accept a love offer now. Okay. It's hard. It's heavy on them. It's heavy on them without you. It affects them. It affects their health right here without you. Okay. I feel like somebody may take a chance right here and try to figure out if you won't look back to the past. They really wanted it. Somebody's wondering, will you take me back? Will you, you know, take this risk or this chance right here, a leap of faith right here to reconcile? I told you it's a reconciliation. Could be a Sagittarius, okay? Um, will you reconcile? Okay. For some of you, you're moving on, you know? You're going to move on from this, from some people. All right. Um... But somebody, this one right here, they don't want you to go. I feel like they're all in their head about you, okay? They're all in their head about you. They don't want you to go. They feel, for some of you, they feel really restricted that you're going to move on, okay? But somebody feel like, dang, I'm powerless, you're moving on. It affects them more than you know, I feel. It really does, I feel right here. Yeah, tennis schools. They know that you're moving on for some people here, Okay. Yeah, it's a toxic relationship maybe for some people. Okay, I feel like your inner strength is real strong. You're going to move on for some people here. Okay, um, yeah, because this could be a toxic relationship or maybe you're in a relationship with a Sagittarius or a Leo, Virgo, Capricorn right here. I feel like something here is really, really good news, being in a relationship with you. Okay, somebody could be really crazy. I feel like somebody's taking a chance right here or strategy to see if you would come back to them, if you would forgive something. I feel like your inner strength is real strong. They're really curious. They, they, I feel like somebody right here is curious right now in mid-June to see how strong your inner strength really is, I feel. Okay? If you don't have money, will you come back to them? Or, um, yeah. So somebody may realize they're powerless, okay? It, you know, they're powerless for some people here. But I'm, I'm hearing, like, will you come back to me and marry me or something like that? What's the legal matters right here? Yeah, this is an Aries right here. Yeah, the Aries, are they doing magic? Could be doing magic or something like that. Okay. The legal card right here. Okay, so death card right here and the Queen of Cups. I'm getting a Scorpio right here. Okay, could be a Scorpio here. This even could be karma. Legal matters could be karma. Maybe something here is karma. Something's going in with a Scorpio or with a water sign, Gemini, Virgo, or Aries. For some people right here. I even feel like for some of you, somebody was hoping that you come back. They realized that you're not coming back. And so now they're over here preparing for a legal situation. Okay, three of wands right here. I feel like somebody now is preparing for a legal situation or they're doing magic for a legal situation or Aries or something like that. I feel like somebody's doing magic right here that they could stop a legal situation, okay? To stop a divorce or something like that. Yeah, now they got clarity that, they, that they've been caught. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so somebody here don't want to go to court, I feel. Yeah. Okay, this could be twin flames for some people right here with the emperor right here and the empress right here. Okay, twin flames right here. And the ace of cups is like a true love, a soulmate right here. I feel like somebody wants to, um, they don't want something right here to end with you. Like, for real, they could be obsessed about it and everything like that. But I just feel like they really don't want this to end with you in mid-June 2024. Yeah, they want you to be hesitant right here to go to divorce or some, some type of court or something like that. They have hope right here, I feel. Um, they, maybe you won't go to court. So some of you right here, if there's some hesitant energy in court, it's because this person really don't want you to go to court, I feel. They might even want to stop court in some way. Yeah, they do, they do. Somebody doesn't want you to go to divorce court for some people right here, all right? Um, 
Some of you, they may, they, they may do a strategy right here to ask you to marry them so that you don't go to court. Maybe this is for divorce or um, maybe this is, this court is to get married. Okay. Because somebody's getting caught. It's right here. Somebody's getting caught right here. It's a type of way, right? So I feel like the answer is to get married. Some people. Yeah, two of cups for roots. Look at that. Hmm. What's the two of cups for roots right here? Yeah. Something is illusion. I feel like you're out of some illusion right here with somebody. This fire sign or this Pisces or this cancer or something like that. But I'm just getting like, even though you're out of some illusion, somebody still like, please don't leave me. Okay. Okay, let me see what I see. Okay, this is Virgo. Virgo, please. All right. Fireplace, buying firewood, decorating. All right, let me see here. What's the message right here, please? This is Virgo. All right, here we go. The time has come. It is now right here. Okay, I feel like something is about burning something. Mm, okay, what's the message right here, please? Yeah, by this time next week right here. It, it, I'm hearing that song by Usher. I think we'll let it burn or something like that. Okay, what's the message right here, please? Yeah, I feel like it's time now to let it burn. Something like that, right? Somebody knows that. Okay, yeah, dad. Right here. What's the message right here, please? Okay, popular empowering dynasty right here in the bloodline. What's the message right here, please? Okay, this is um, Virgo. Yeah, Virgo. Two, two, two. Somebody has hope right here. Okay. Um, 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. could be significant right here. Somebody's burning something at 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Hmm. Okay, see fireplace. Somebody's burning something right here at 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Okay, let me see what else here. What's your message right here, please? This is Virgo. All right, let's see here. You're going to have the biggest smile on your face after you receive this gift. Yeah, because I feel like somebody right here is about to ask you to marry them. Or somebody over here is about to ask you, um, can you leave something in the past? Just leave it in the past? Can we leave this in the past? I feel like somebody may take a chance to do that and ask you that right here. Yeah, it says they do love you. They're hoping right here by next week you'll love something or you'll love them or you'll get them another chance. For some of you, I don't see it working out that way. It says, no, I don't see it working out that way for some of you. Okay, but they did you hope that for some people here. Okay, guardian um, blessings, guardian angel blessings of love right here. Okay, somebody feel like you're their angel. You're popular, you're empowering and everything like that. I feel like somebody wants to take a chance just to see what will happen with you and them. Maybe something here is about a vehicle. Could be an older vehicle, okay? But that's what I have right here. This could be a twin flame for some of you, all right? Thank you so much for taking a look, and I send you peace, blessings, of course, love and light. And I'm to say to you, this is Virgo.